YouTube, how's it going today? Here we got the Uniden Bearcat BC75 XLT scanner. And this is a pretty unique scanner. I got it uh, in a trade. Traded some CB radios for this and uh, another radio. And I'm going to teach you how to program it from the front face and from the programming software. And I'm going to show you how to download that. So to program it from the front face here, turn this light on here. So let's go, you're going to hit, so when you turn it on it's going to be scanning or it's going to say the stock screen, which either way you're going to hit hold, hit one, hit hold again. So this is channel one and obviously there's nothing there for all these channels here. So go back to one, we'll hit function program or the E button. Put in your frequency. We'll do 462.575. Hit program again. And it's in there. And then you can just keep doing that for each channel you want. Now for the software programming, you're gonna go online and uh, either the oh you're gonna go to either bc75xlt info unit in dot com or I typed in http info dot unit in dot com forward slash unit in man for forward slash bc75xlt so instead of typing all that just go to bc75xlt info unit in dot com right here click on that and then you're gonna go to for me um, do some USB drivers just to be safe There we go. Make sure you click on this first right here. And come over here. You're gonna download this file. Let's see, let's open it. We're gonna open this file right here, and then we'll go to the x86 for my computer here. Extract all. And close that. Okay, then come over here. Okay, it's already there. Download this one here. Open that file. Go to setup. Oh. I believe the top one actually. Either way, you're going to run the second one afterwards just to be safe. Okay. And that's done. And it should be right here. The red bear claw. Click on that real quick. And this is a programming software. My computer, for some reason, the communication ports are not working on it. So I'm going to go grab my other computer, uh, hook it up, and I'll show you what it looks like all hooked up and ready to go alright so we got the tablet set up here we're going to open this one just the same way got it already pre-installed okay so your programming cable is going to be a standard um, what this looks like here um, it's not quite micro USB it's like the older style and this will without batteries in here this takes double A's nickel metal or alkaline and then I'm going to try out some rechargeables in there uh, coming up here in a week or two but you can take the batteries out and with the little port right here and you can see there you can just plug that in there and you don't need to run any batteries and you can just run it on a cable if you wanted to which I do sometimes so let's plug this in real quick give you a little demonstration Okay, so I'm going to go to my scanner here, read from scanner, and of course before you, let me turn this down real quick, okay, so before you do that, you're going to go to tools up here, com port settings, and then you're going to go auto detect, and it's going to, that's going to find your com port, so that's how you set that up. 
Okay, so, and then up here you've got, really hard to see, a bunch of little options here. So, you got 10 banks. Uh, this is the one, you can see my frequency I put in there, 462575. And then let's go priority, priority off, because I don't need that. And then all my other channels are in bank 6 here. And then I have all my other banks empty. You got your search, uh, service search, custom search, search options, close call, VHF, civil air, VHF high, UHF. You get your bank settings and miscellaneous. Okay. And it's pretty simple like that. And then once you're done, I go to file just to be safe. Cancel here. So go to file, save as. I've already done a first read, so let's go here and save that. And then go to, go to scanner and simply break it to scanner. And as soon as all that's done, it's good to go. Turn this off and turn it back on. Close this. Hold. And all your channels should be in there. The frequencies you punched in. And it's really simple and easy to do. Alright, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll have some more videos about this coming up shortly. So please stay tuned. You guys have a good one.